Welcome to my district. And yes, I call this my district. I'll tell you why. And listen, this isn't a story about the fast-paced life in the utility world with all the chaos and demanding regulations. In fact, this is a story about the simplicity and strength of a new reality in my district. Come on, let me show you. In the utility world, it's always been our ambition to truly understand what's going on in our distribution network. So we know how to react and learn, good night gentlemen, and stay close to our customers. In my district, I know what's going on, above ground, below, and all year round. Take our friends here. I know their exact consumption down to the last drop, and that's exactly what they pay for. I know if they have a leak even before they do, and I know that I deliver what I've promised. And you know what? That feels pretty good. The secret to this, well, it isn't that big a secret. Smart me to date. No need to bother these nice folks with manual readings or house calls when I've got what I need right here. And really, if you want to make real-time decisions, you need more than gut feelings and theoretic models. You need real-time data delivered automatically. Our eco-friendly family over here wants a house as green as their fingers. We identified that the hot water preparation was fine, but the space heating of the house was affected by a poor heating installation setup. So, for once, a plumber and not a change in consumption behavior was the key to go green. Go green! And what about heat loss, which is probably one of the biggest expenses for utilities today? Without data to help us map the distribution network and locate losses, we would literally be digging in the dark. Because if we don't know what happens underground, we don't know where our investments pay off. And that's why we need to renovate this pipe and not the one over there. Over here, guys! Capacity is another big issue in my district, or at least it used to be. So when our friends in suits are planning to build a new hospital, residential area, or industrial business park, we're not overwhelmed. Call me. And as you know, buildings use far less energy today than they did, say, 15, 20 years ago. So why are we still using the same rules and models from those days when we, for example, dimension new pipes? Especially when the alternative is right at hand. We've come to the end of the road. Well, this road at least. Another exciting challenge. Our local supermarket just wanted to let us know that they will begin pumping lots of surplus energy into the network. Well, it wouldn't be my district if I didn't know how to handle this as well. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Thanks for visiting.